before watching this, you should watch part 1, though you can skip part 2 if you really want to. As mentioned in the previous video, when compiling, VBSP places out vis leaves in your app where it thinks it's appropriate. When I said that vis leaves were like blocks, I lied. They're actually more like doors, one single flat plane. So, when placing down vis leaves using the method that I'm about to explain, remember that you are not placing down blocks, but rather, you're placing down a surface. First, you pick the skip texture. If you make a block out of this texture and compile, it'll be completely ignored. So be careful when using it, because if used incorrectly, it can break your map and a ton of weird glitches may occur. As you can see, this is where the compiler plays your vis leaves. We can do a better job than this on our own. Most people seem to like having their vis leaves diagonally, like this. It's easy to see why, as it allows the largest amount of world geometry to be hidden when standing around the edge. The way you make one of these vis leaves is by getting a plane, that is, a surface, with a hint texture on it. Here I make a brush completely made out of the skip texture, but has one of its sides where I want the vis leaf to be. Now simply texture that side with the hint texture. After compiling, you can now see that the map cuts diagonally and that more of it is hidden at any given time. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Also, thanks for watching.